Hi all. Today we will be taking a look at the new deferable views which is introduced in Angular 17. So what do you mean by a deferable view? Previously whenever we define a view which basically means the visible part of the component it will always be included as part of the initial bundle itself that is the main.js it will contain all the components like for example in this Angular 17 application I have a home component and within that I want to add a additional info component which is this component so when the application is loaded this additional info component will not be visible in the view but even though it is not visible in the view the code for this particular component will be included in the initial bundle itself so there was no inbuilt feature which could support the lazy loading of this particular view in Angular. But with Angular 17, they have introduced the deferable view, which enables us to lazy load this particular component only when it is needed. So now let's see how we can do that. So in Angular 17, they have introduced a new syntax called at the rate defer, which basically helps us to defer the loading for the JavaScript for the components or whatever view which we have defined within this differ block. So it basically means that whatever we give within a differ block, it will not be included as part of the main bundle.js. So here in this example, let me run the application. So this is the home page for the application. And this has a button called show addition info. And when I click on this button, the addition info component will be rendered here. So previously, even though this addition info is not needed during the initial time itself, it will still be included in the main.js bundle. But with the introduction of differ, what happens is that when we initially load the page, the code for this particular additional info component won't be loaded. So let me clear the network tab and when I click on the show addition info, you can see that a separate chunk .js file is loaded and it will contain the code for our additional info component. So this is the main concept of deferable views, which is introduced in Angular 17. So now let's go into detail for each of the syntax which is used within the deferable views. So when we Check the syntax for the differ. You can see that we can give different options which can either be conditions which is defined by when or using the own keyword. So here in this current scenario, what I have done is in the home component, when I click the button that is this show addition info, I am calling a function show addition info within this I will be setting the show info variable as true. Now this particular show info variable I have given as a condition within the differ block. So for providing dynamic conditions or expressions we can make use of the when keyword and just give the expression here. Whenever the expression is satisfied it will load the code for the view which is defined within that particular differ block. In this case, I have given the addition info component and the code for that will be loaded when this particular condition is satisfied. One thing to note is that you might feel that it is similar to the ng if or the if control flow, but it is not because when this expression again becomes false, the view won't be hidden. So let us see that also in action. So what I have done is Within the click action handler, I have added a set timeout, which basically resets the show info to false. So in the case of an if block or ng if, the view will be hidden. But in this scenario, the view will be still there, but this console will be shown. So let's verify that. So you can see the differ within, I have given when show info. Let's refresh our application. 
now here the console is visible now i am clicking the button the resource the additional info is loaded here and after 3 seconds you, you can see that the reset happened console is logged but still the view is visible here within the application now let us see some additional blocks which can be provided as part of the differ one such block is the placeholder block where basically we can define a placeholder view which will be loaded prior to whatever differable view which we have provided here is being loaded so it basically means that in our scenario when we refresh our application initially our placeholder view will be displayed here which is what i have given here within the label i have given a text called dynamic content will appear here so that is visible here and when this particular differable view is loaded this placeholder will be removed from the dom so when i click on the button our view is loaded and you can see that the placeholder is gone so that's the use of the placeholder block now we have another thing called the loading block so let's see that in action so for that what i am going to do is i am going to throttle my network to 3g now you can see that initially the placeholder is displayed here in case i didn't give any placeholder nothing will be displayed here and when i click on the show addition info our bundle will start downloading and you can see that the loading indicator is displayed here so i will refresh that one more time i am throttling the network when i click the button you can see that the loading is displayed here and once the loading is completed and the new view is rendered the loading block will be removed here within the loading block we can give multiple options so one thing to notice that when i clicked on the button immediately the loading division was not shown but it was shown after 100 milliseconds so in case i increase it to 1 second the delay will be more visible so i am going to refresh it again now i am clicking on the button so immediately the loading didn't come but after one second you can see that the loading came and once the loading is completed the loader is removed we have a second option called minimum which basically tells that the loader which is visible during the loading it should be visible for at least one second so this is given in order to prevent the flickering of the loader in case the content is rendered immediately there can be chances of flickering so in order to avoid that we can provide a minimum time so that in case the loader has already started displaying it will display it for at least one second before showing the actual content so that's the use of the loading block and finally we have the error block so now again what i am going to do is i am going to block the particular chunk url so that when i try to load it in the network it will fail so here i am refreshing i am clearing the network now when i click on the addition info button you can see that the chunk load failed and the particular message which we have provided within the error block that gets displayed in case of failure scenarios so now that we have visited the different blocks which are available within the differable view block let us examine the different options which can be used within the differ block so here we had made use of the when and the expression now there is another variant of this where now you can see that when i click on this particular button the loading of the js starts at that time and it will take some time to render the view so based on the network condition this can cause poor user experience so for preventing that we have the option to prefetch our bundles 
so here let me comment this and I am going to give this particular option where basically I am using the same condition when the show info is true I will be rendering this deferable view and one exception is that I have given a condition prefetch on idle so on idle basically means that whenever the browser is idle during that time the bundle for this particular component that is the code for this component will be downloaded in the background but it will not be executed it will be executed only when this expression is satisfied but the loading will happen when the browser is idle the idle time is defined basically by making use of the request idle callback which is handled internally so now let's see that in action I am going to refresh the application and I have throttled the application so it will take some time to load so now you can see that once the initial page is rendered when the browser is idle you can see that actually the bundle for our addition info component got downloaded in the background but still you can see that the deferable view is not rendered but the code has been downloaded so now even when we throttle our application to slow 3g and click on the addition info you can see that immediately the view is rendered so using prefetch we will be able to improve the user experience so the next option is on viewport so on viewport basically means that whenever that particular view comes within the viewable area at that time it will act as a trigger and it will start rendering our deferable view so let's do one thing i will detach the network tab from here and try to minimize the area of the browser now you can see that initially when i refresh the application our addition info component bundle was not downloaded but when i slowly scroll down in the application now at that particular time the bundle was downloaded and the view is rendered so when does it actually download the view and render it it basically depends on the particular placeholder which we have defined here whenever this placeholder element is visible within the viewport at that time automatically it will start downloading the js and rendering the deferable view we can also provide variations on this particular option like this option where we can provide a template variable instead of making use of the placeholder element so in this case i have defined a variable called view which is basically defined here within the app is running that is this element so now what will happen is when this element is visible in the view immediately the page will start downloading the deferable view so now let's refresh the application now you can see that initially the bundle is not downloaded but when i slowly scroll down and when the lazy load app is running element is displayed in the viewport immediately our additional component is downloaded and the addition component is also rendered within our view so it basically makes use of intersection observers in order to watch our viewport for any particular element which we provide as the target so in this case we have made use of a template variable which we have attached to the span let us take a look at other options which are available one is the timer so timer as the name suggests it basically executes a timer and whatever time which we have provided within the timer after it has elapsed automatically it will trigger the downloading of the deferable view so let's see this in action now i will attach it back so i will refresh the application now you can see that 
after 5 seconds automatically it downloaded the bundle and the deferrable view is rendered here so in order to ensure that the timing is correct you can see that the previous bundle was around 794 millisecond and after around 6 seconds the addition info was downloaded similarly we will be able to club together multiple conditions that is either or based on triggers using on or using trigger and using when for expression one thing to note is that when we provide multiple conditions this will be treated as an or condition and whenever either of these condition is satisfied it will immediately start downloading the code and rendering the deferrable view so in this scenario when we refresh you can see that immediately it downloaded our addition info component and rendered it this is because since it is visible in the viewport that placeholder is visible in the viewport immediately it will render similarly in the case of when also we can make use of this again it will act as a or condition now let us take a look at the default behavior of the differ block that is in case i didn't provide any condition and i just defined a differ block with this code it is exactly similar to on idle so on idle as i discussed earlier it basically means that when the browser becomes idle immediately it will start downloading the code so when i refresh this you can see that immediately it downloaded the code once everything is stable within the application so the on interaction is basically waiting for a click event by default the target for the click event will be the placeholder so let us see this in action i'm going to refresh the application now when i click on this particular placeholder at that time it will start downloading the bundle and render the component similarly we can also change the target for this particular interaction so in this scenario i have given a template reference variable which i have attached to the show audition info button so here when i click on the placeholder you can see that nothing happened but when i click on the show audition info the bundle is downloaded and the component is rendered similarly we have the on hover trigger which as the naming suggests is triggered when we hover over an element so by default it will be the placeholder and also we can provide any other element like the button so first let us see the default behavior now when i hover over that particular placeholder immediately is downloaded and rendered the component now in case i change it to the button when i hover over the placeholder nothing happens when i hovered over the button immediately it downloaded and rendered the component now we have one final variant of the differ where we can give the keyword immediate which basically means that immediately once the page is finished rendering at that time it will start downloading the bundle and render the component immediately so this is quite similar to the idle but it will not wait for the browser to become idle but it will execute immediately once the page is rendered so here when we refresh you can see that immediately our bundle is downloaded and the component is rendered so these are the current options which are available within the differable view block so hope you are able to get a good idea about the differable blocks which is introduced in angular 17 see you soon thank you